Hi friends, hope all are doing great. Today let us check how to design health care system form. Let's start. Open the Microsoft Visual Basics. Select standard EXE. Then click on open button. New project is opened. Here, resize the form, increase the size of the form. Add a label from toolbar. Rename the label as healthcare system. Healthcare system. You can adjust the size of the label. Just select the label, go to the alignment here. Text, select the alignment as centered. To make the text as bold, go to font option in properties window. Then select font style as bold. Here you can resize the text. You can increase the or decrease the size of the text. Then click on OK button. Healthcare system. If you want to change the four color, color of the text. Okay, if you want to apply the back background color, back color option, you select the back color option in properties window. Okay, if you want to apply the color to the form, just select the form, click on the form, then go to the back color option in properties window. In palette, many colors are available, whichever color you like, you can apply it as background color. Okay, then add one label. Rename it as username. Username. In properties window, go to the alignment option. Select the alignment as centered. Then add one text box. Select the text box in properties window, go to the text option and remove this text one. Then add one label. Rename it as password. Okay. Add one text box. Go to the properties window. Text is text to remove this text to and label to alignment is go to the alignment option. Alignment is center. Just select this label and apply the alignment as center. Just click on this label, press control key, then click on the password label, go to the font option, make the text as bold. If you want to increase the size, specify the size as 10, 
then click on ok button see you want to apply the four color any color you can apply background color back color of labels okay then add buttons one is submit button and the next is reset button okay rename the buttons select the button one go to the caption option in properties window rename it as submit go to the font option make the text as bold here select the button to rename it as reset back cancel any name you can give reset go to the font option here select bold click ok the next just move here okay adjust the buttons labels and text boxes then next double click on submit button to write the code here here if if text1 dot text equals to username or simply you can take user anything and text to dot text equal to password here password will take it as 1234 then form to dot show form to dot show message message box incorrect incorrect username or password incorrect username or password okay first text1 is equals to user text2 dot text equal to 1234 then show if the username and password is correct show the form2 else message box says incorrect username or password then end if end if add form to go to the project add form open okay then next go to the form one design view just select form here form one here then design view here double click on reset button here just that is a end we'll run and check now just click on start button here the username is username password is 1234 click on submit button incorrect username or password 
okay why we got that incorrect username or password because here the username is just user okay once again we'll run username is just user the password is 1234 press on the submit button it will redirect us to unsuccessful submission it will redirect us to form 2 okay how to hide the password see here we are able to see the password how to hide the password go to the form 1 design just select this text box password text box password care here specify the asterisk symbol now again run the project just run the project here username user password is one two three four click on submit button it is redirecting us to form two okay unsuccessful submission now let us check how to design the form 2 just select the form 2 go to the design okay add a label here So, rename the label as main menu, main menu, align the text to center. To make the text as bold, go to the font option here, select bold, increase the size. Okay, you want to apply the four color. You want to apply the back color, go to the back color option in properties window, palette. Then you can select any back color here. Whichever color you like, you can select. Okay, if you want to apply the background color to the form, just click on the form and select the back color to the form. Okay, any color you can give here. Then add one button. So rename the button as go to properties window in caption option, rename the button as patient details go to font option increase the size so patient details Then next, add one button. Rename it as treatment. Treatment. Okay. Go to the font option here. Make the text as bold and size as 24. Then click on OK button. Okay. Okay. Then add one more button here. Rename this button as exit. Increase the size of the font, bold, font style is bold, 
and size is 24. Click on OK button. The next, write the code here. Just double click on patient details button. Write the code here as form 3 dot show. Okay, form 3 dot show. Then again, double click on treatment button. Here, you make it as form 4 dot show. Form 4 dot show. Four you have to get. Then double click on this exit button. Here, form 1 dot show. Okay, let us run the project now. Just run the project here. Username is user. Password is 1234. Click on submit. It will redirect us to form 2. We select patient details. Here we are getting the error. Why? Because we did not add it the form 3 and form 4. First we'll add the form 3. Add form. So it is form 3. Then one more form you need to add. Form 4. Now again execute. What is the username here? User password is 1234. Click on submit button. Then patient details form 3. Treatment form 4. Exit form 1. I hope you understood this concept, friends. Thanks for watching.